iPhone SE iOS 10.3.3 versus iPhone SE iOS 11 public beta 2. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone SE, well versus the iPhone SE. In this video we're taking a look at 10.3.3 on the Black SE and iOS 11 Public Beta 2 here on the Pink SE. To see if it's worthy of a download, to see if it's a better software operating system so far, to see how long the beta has been coming along here and if you should download it. Let's go into boot up in 3, 2 and let's go. And let's boot both of these devices up at the same time. So black logo for the black iPhone and white background here for the white iPhone. Now I do think that 10.3.3 is going to boot up faster, but we shall see what happens here iOS 11 is now in beta 3 for developers and you've seen that the 10.3.3 is way ahead here of the iOS 11. So first test is already a win to iOS 10.3 point three and not too far behind it is ios 11 but you see a little bit of lag there even on the scroll on the iphone se so guys before we get into the application test between 10.3.3 and ios 11 public beta 2 let's go ahead and confirm the versions of software this is on so you can see on the right ios 11 15a 5318g here for the white iPhone, which is on the iOS 11. Over here on general, about you can see 10.3.3, 14G60, just to confirm that I'm not lying to you guys about these softwares here. Now, these are both on the same Wi Fi network, so this is a very fair test in terms of the network. So let's go ahead and load these applications up. I'm going to close everything out here to make sure everything is closed. And let's begin with the calendar. So it's not really gonna use the network till we get into the more internet-based apps, but we can see the speed here on just the software itself. Let's go to calendar on both. And you see a little bit quicker there for iOS 11 public beta 2. Coming home about the same. What about calculator? Ooh, a little bit faster there for iOS 11 public beta 2. This might be because of the faster animations. It's gonna come in a new software. So let's go to clock. You can see a little bit faster again for public beta 2. Let's go into the camera. And you can see about the same, I would say, on the camera. What about Safari? So Safari looked to open a little bit quicker there. Let's go into yahoo.com here on both devices. So let's go to yahoo.com here on the SE on the left with 10.3.3. And I'm going to fire up yahoo.com here on iOS 11 on the right. So let me fire up yahoo.com. Got things about the same. And let's hit go. And you could see it does look to be faster there for iOS 11 public beta 2. Let's do cnet.com here for an example. Let's go to cnet.com here for an example here and let's hit go. And you can see a little bit faster for 10.3.3. So Safari, not too much different, about the same on both devices. Looks like the scrolling is a little bit faster here in iOS 11 public beta 2 versus the iOS 10.3.3 though. So let's go into the weather applications and you can see that looked a little bit quicker on 10.3.3. If I'm missing any of these, let me know. What about Instagram? So Instagram looks first there on 10.3.3. Coming home here, let's go into Twitter on both devices. And you can see Twitter is firing open first on 10.3.3, but not too far behind is public beta 2. So you can see the speed is not that much different, even though this is a beta. So if you're wondering about massive performance decreases with the SE, it's actually not too bad on the beta version. You can see YouTube works about the same there. Going into Amazon, we can see Amazon is ready to go in just a second. There it is coming here. Let's go to eBay. So eBay, a about, I'm gonna give that one 10.3.3 for sure. So coming into Play Newsstand, you can see Play Newsstand is first there for the iOS 11 Public Beta 2. So let's go into App Store. This is a redesigned app, so let's see if it's quicker on the 11 and it looked like it was. Let's go to the tabs. You can see the Today tab. And we can't really compare those because there's no Games tab on this older App Store. So let's go into Subway Surfers. And you can see gaming is firing first there for the iOS 11. Wow, this is nice to see here. Better gaming performance so far on iOS 11 Public Beta 2. Coming home, let's go into Temple Run. Let's see if it does the same thing here for iOS 11. 
So no, this one's going to 10.3.3, but only slightly. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 now. Missed that one on the iOS 11. So let's go over here and do that again. And you can see it play ready to go there for 10.3.3. So actually, no, it was just that first game that iOS 11 won. They're about the same in terms of that. So let's go ahead and do a Gink Bench now on both devices to see how they do perform in the CPU benchmarks here. I'm going to go ahead and hit run benchmark and I will be back when they are both done to see what they do on this benchmark testing. So guys, the final Geekbench scores are in for iOS 10.3.3, 2558 on the single core and for iOS 11 public beta 2, 2527 on the single core. So a higher score here for 10.3.3 as expected. On the multi-core, you get 4489 for 10.3.3 and 4413 for iOS 11 public beta 2. So definitely a better score there for the beta. Let's go ahead and run through this multitasking now to see how they hold the applications in the background. 10.3.3 on that one. Let's go to calculator, about the same. And I'm expecting this to be pretty much identical across the board here for all these applications. And it has been showing that so far. So Safari, the iOS 11 public beta 2 had to reload a little bit there going into weather. That looked a little bit better there for 10.3.3. So what about Instagram? You can see both had a reload there. Let's go to Twitter. And you can see about the same. Let's go to YouTube. Missed that one there for the iOS 10.3.3. We're going to have to do that one again. So let's go to YouTube. And YouTube had the reload on both. So let's go to Amazon. And Amazon had a little pop-up there for 10.3.3. Let's go to eBay. And you can see about the same. So you can see about the same across the board here on multitasking. So if you're going to iOS 11 public beta and you're wondering about multitasking, you're not really going to notice a difference unless you're putting these phones side by side. They're about the same. So public beta 2 is coming along quite well here. Even the multitasking switch tray is about as smooth as 10.3.3. It's not quite there, but it's about as smooth. So that's good to see there. So what about the control center? Can we see a lag here on the control center? A little bit of a glitch there on iOS 11 public beta 2, as you can see right there, going down into the notifications tray. We're having some issues right there. So you can see it's still not a perfect operating system. I have to lock the screen, turn this on, and then pull it down. So you can see that was a bug right there. Live on camera, you've seen it hang up right there so yeah anyway that's pretty much gonna wrap it up here i just wanted to show you the differences between the ios 10.3.3 which is the latest public edition of ios you can get for your iphone se versus ios 11 the public beta 2 which is the latest public beta you can download for your iphone se E. I would say if you guys want to be more stable, you want to be more secure, go with the 10.3.3, the latest download for your iPhone SE. And I will be running a battery test all day, more than likely on 10.3.3 for the SE. So stay tuned for that. If you want to try out the new software, it's actually not too bad. You can actually go day to day here with the public beta too. You're going to have a little bit more glitches and hangs from time to time. But if you want to try out the new software, Go ahead and do a backup, download this guy, and you can always revert back to 10.3.3 if you would like. And anyway, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. I will catch you all in the next one. Be sure to be well. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and peace.